Hi guys, my name's David Lewis. I'm a curriculum consultant uh, based in the New England region in Tamworth. I'm going to show you some of the apps that I showed at uh, the PE State Conference um, and I'll take you through those. So the first one I used is Display Recorder, which is the one I'm using right now. Uh, this app is good if you've got a senior class or a class and you don't want kids to miss the lesson because you can record and it records everything you do and say um, on the iPad. You can then email it straight to the kids at the end of the lesson. The next app is EduCreations. Uh, this is good because it's got featured lessons on there, like the cardiorespiratory system, the skeletal system, the muscular system. You can also create your own lessons on there and record them. Again, you can record everything you do and say. The iMotion HD, uh, the bottom right hand corner, uh, bottom left hand corner there, allows you to use time lapse photography so you can view a 60 minute lesson in as little as two minutes. The Nearpod student and teacher, you can see there, it allows the teacher to push whatever is on their iPad to the students in the class um, and it allows the teacher to lock the students down so they can't go onto other websites and other things like that. Some of the more PE specific apps, PE Sports Medicine is broken up into different areas. So you can see demands um, for specific athletes and there's critical questions. There's also videos loaded in there um, and a whole lot of information. So that's a good one for Sports Med. The PE Flashcards is an iPhone app. Um, if you go into the Core 1 Flashcards, it allows you to choose a different area and it's like that. So it just goes through like that. Uh, the best part about this is that you can do practice quizzes on them. So good for your students with iPhones. Teach HPE is a good one. It's broken up into different sections uh, and you can see when it loads, it's broken up so that um, it's not just for HSCPE, so you can click on Health Promotion and it'll take you through to a whole lot of links for videos and articles. So that's a good one. Next one is a first aid. This is the St John's First Aid app. Very simple, lots of pictures, very easy to follow, very easy to use. Good for years 8, 9, 10 and also if you run staff development days uh, on CPR and Resus. The Australian Drugs, this one is um, it's a booklet that was sent to your school. This is just the app form of the booklet and it's got youth and parents down the bottom there as well. Human anatomy, this is a good one. Skeletal system, muscular system, you can see the different systems there. You can either test for or you can learn each of these systems. Just be careful with the terminology here because as you'll see, uh, the cranium is actually listed as the skull there. So, and the phalanges and things like that. Just be careful of the wording with those ones. Uh, the next one is Speed Anatomy. This one goes into a lot more depth than PE students need. Um, it's more like Anatomy 101 at uni, um, but yeah, it's still, it's still a good app. The Easy Portfolio and the Easy Assessment. The Easy Portfolio is supposed to be used for things like parent-teacher interviews, where you can create portfolios about each of your students. The Easy Assessment uh, is supposed to make it easier to record all your assessment results. Um, a bit time consuming, uh, have a play with these before you start using them in class and I'll leave it up to you whether you like them or not. The next two are the beep tests. Um, the free beep test costs nothing. It allows you to see your VO2 max when you finish the test. It also allows you to compare yourself to the 2010 All Blacks. The other beep test costs $5.49, $4.49, something like that. Um, it's good, but the free one's the same and it's free. The next one is really good app. Health related and school related components of fitness are all here, all the different classifications, all the different areas. If you go into one of them, let's go aerobic power and the 12 minute run, and you can see the procedure of the test is there and so are the state norms, and it does that for every test. So it is an unreal app, it costs about 99 cents. The heart rate monitor is the next one. It allows students to monitor their heart rate, store their heart rates over a period of time so they can see if their resting heart rate is going up or down. It'll get your heart rate when it gets up to 180, 190. gets a little bit inconsistent when it gets up into those higher levels, but still a pretty good app. The next two Coach My Video and Coach's Eye are video analysis apps. Coach My Video is free. Coach's Eye is $5.49. Uh, Coach My Video allows you to put videos next to each other and analyse the biomechanics of for example, a golf swing or a swimming stroke or whatever sport it may be. So Coach's Eye does the same thing. PE apps cost 99 cents. It is not an app itself. It just shows you other apps. Um, so if we click on PE apps there, you'll see it's broken up into those areas. And if we look at training apps, that's all the different types of training 
apps that are, there is out there. So that is the PE apps. PE games, very, very basic. A whole lot of games, but they're very basic. They are probably more, you can see Duck Duck Goose there, they're probably more for primary schools than they are for secondary schools. Some of the other apps. Um, the virtual heart is brilliant. I love the virtual heart. You can slide your finger up and down the heart and you can have a look um, with skin on or skin off. So if I slide my finger up, the skin goes on. If I slide my finger down, the skin goes off. You can have a look at the interior, the electrical systems, the valves, or the blood flow. You can also increase or decrease the heart rate by just tapping on the right hand side there up the top. So a good app. Eye muscle is brilliant. Breaks down the apps into, or breaks down the muscles, sorry, into each of their different groups and it allows you to see them. So you can pick the muscle, you can actually select the muscle you want to go to um, and it will allow you to have a look at that muscle in depth. So the eye muscle is a very, very handy. It also gives you workouts for each one of those. So a very good, um, a very good app. Uh, the RTA one allows you to, or your kids, to practice their driving knowledge test. Um, good one for when they're getting towards their driving age. The human body there just gives you facts about the human body. And it has hundreds of interesting facts. Another good app is called Science360. Science360 takes a little while to load, but it's got a lot of biomechanical um, movies, videos, and pictures on there, which you can use as sort of an introduction to a lesson or something like that. There's a good one on Oscar Pretorius and a really good one on Usain Bolt on there. During my presentation, I was using um, what's called Apple TV uh, to project my iPad up onto the screen. Uh, and you can do this wirelessly. If you've got an existing smart board, you can use something called a Canex ATV Pro, and that will allow you to um, shoot your iPad to your Apple TV, and you attach Apple TV to your smart board, and it'll put it up on the smart board for you, so that everything can be done wirelessly. If you've got any questions, my name's David Lewis. I'm a curriculum consultant. My phone number is 67555030. Feel free to give me a ring. If you find an app, that you like the look of or you want to know more about, give me a ring, I'll research it for you and I will get back to you when I can. Thanks very much guys, uh, I hope you got something out of my session.